At the height of the Cold War, the word nuclear filled us with dread. It meant missiles and impending war. But at the time when nuclear parades were a sign of Russia's global strength, the nation was also developing more peaceful uses for atomic energy. 60 years ago, this facility at Obninsk, around 60 miles from Moscow, was the first nuclear power plant to be connected to the electricity grid and it was managed via this control room. And Lev Kuchetkov was there at the very beginning. Referred to as a living legend in Russia's nuclear industry, he was one of those people who helped design the power plant. In the very beginning, I was dealing with the calculational support of the core of the first in the world nuclear power plant. Operated by state-owned Rosatom, it was built in a record short time, just three and a half years. From the outside, it doesn't look like a nuclear power plant. The exterior is a facade built to hide what's within. Because at the height of the Cold War, Russia wanted to keep its nuclear power station a secret. No. All works for the development of the first in the world nuclear power plant were strictly classified. Many of the workers of the institute knew practically nothing about the construction of the power plant. So where did you say you worked? I had to speak in the terms that I work at an institute which bears the name of Lab V. For around four years, Obninsk was the only nuclear power reactor in the Soviet Union and it led the way for the industry worldwide. The, the world public response to commissioning of this nuclear power plant in a country which was semi-destroyed semi by the World War II was really very huge and very positive. It has stimulated governments to think in more serious terms about peaceful uses of atomic energy and mostly for the establishment of uh, nuclear electricity generating facilities. The nuclear power station generated electricity only for a short period of time, but provided district heating in the city. Lev claims it was the only reactor to have achieved steam superheating. In other words, getting the steam very hot at high pressure, which meant improved efficiency. And it was something the Americans tried to emulate. We are the only reactor which has achieved this, with the only exclusion of a U.S. Pathfinder reactor. But the Americans did not achieve 100% success. The Pathfinder was shut after one year of operation. And he has his views on how Britain dealt with nuclear power too. Well, we should strongly criticize British specialists because they were afraid they couldn't cope with the difficulties related to the liquid sodium to water interaction. They had some leakages, they were too fast to shut down the reactor. But Great Britain is one of the few countries in the world which have really mastered in reprocessing of spent nuclear fuel. The Obninsk nuclear reactor was shut down in April 2002 and is in the process of decommissioning. It could take up to 70 years to reduce the radioactivity of components. But the facility is being put to good use. It's being transformed into a museum, attracting thousands of visitors every year. It's also being used as a research facility. And Lev believes nuclear power has a bold future. Organic fuel is quite limited in the globe and it will last for additional some 50 to 100 years. What shall be after that? Well, nuclear energy is the only possible solution. Although Lev may not be around to see it, it seems Russia is now entering into a new phase of nuclear renaissance. Priyanka Shrestha, Energy Live News, Russia.